So today we're looking at multiplying a four-digit number by a one-digit number. You can pause the video here to have a look at the success criteria and the key vocabulary. True or false? 1,223 multiplied by 4 is 4,887. Here on the left-hand side, you can see a visual representation of the number 1,223. So if I were to take that number and actually copy that image three times, then you could actually find out, okay, well, if I multiplied it by three, what would I end up getting? Okay, or by four, sorry, what would I end up getting? Okay, I'd end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve ones. I'd end up with two, four, six, eight, tens. I'd end up with four hundred. So it's a little bit confusing to do it that way. It's probably easiest if we were to actually show it in a column method. And the way to do that is to make sure we line everything up. If you look at the success criteria again, line everything up in our place value columns. So we have 1,223 multiplied by 4, multiply that out. 4 multiplied by 3 is 12, so it's 2, and we put our 10 here. So 4 multiplied by 2, which is actually the same as 4 multiplied by 20 in this case, that's what it really means. 4 multiplied by 20 is 80 plus 10, that 1 on top is 90, so our 9 goes here. And then 4 multiplied by 2 again, which is actually 4 multiplied by 200, is 800 and then 4 multiplied by 1 is 4 which is actually 4 multiplied by 1000 which is 4892 which you can see here now what has changed well in terms of the actual visual visual so if you look at the visual representation on the right originally we had 12 ones right so if you have a look here again we did the 4 multiplied by 3 that gave us 12. That's where that 10 and that 2 came from. So actually, we can't have 12 ones. So that's why we have two ones here. And then we've transitioned those other 10 into that one there, that red one. Okay, so we've exchanged. We've exchanged those 10 extra ones for one 10. And that's why that's in that column. Okay? So you can pause the video here to solve these on your own. I'm going to continue to go through. So just to show you using different colors. 5 multiplied by 1 is 5. 5 multiplied by 0 is 0. Okay. 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. So our 2 carries up here. And again, technically it's 5 multiplied by 500 because of where it is in the place value, which is 2,500, which is why you have the 2 here and the 5 there. Okay. And then you've got 5 multiplied by 1, which is technically 5 multiplied by 1,000. It's 5,000, but add the extra 2. 7,505. Again, on this side, 2 multiplied by 7 is 14. Put our 1 there. 2 multiplied by 3, okay, that's 6. Add 1, 7. If we did 2 multiplied by 4, 8. And then if we did 2 multiplied by 3, excuse me, 6, okay? There you go. Now, you need to figure out what the question's asking. There are 2,901 counters in a bag. How many counters will there be in three bags? Well, the question that you need to write down, you can pause here and give it a try. Otherwise, that's your question, okay? And you can use your powers of estimation, if you will, to think about what the answer might be. You know that this number right here is very close to this number, 3,000. Well, three three thousands would give you what? 9,000. So that means the number is probably going to be just shy of 9,000. I'll let you work that out. You can pause here to do the fluency for today. Give those a try. And here you'll find your reasoning and problem solving. Good luck.